welcome back everybody to another episode of The Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the Netflix series, Reality Z. If you have not watched it yet, I advise you to pause this and go watch it. I'll give you about three seconds. Okay, so I hope you all have paused and watched it. If not, okay, oh well. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to watch another episode of ours. Let us know if you guys like it by commenting below. Also, you can give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And also, clicking that subscribe button. It never hurts. It'll help us out. Thank you. Anyway, so Reality Z, again, is a Netflix series. It's based out in Brazil. It's, as the Z part kind of alludes to, it's about zombies. Basically, the show centers around a reality TV series called uh, Olympic, Olympus, Olympus yeah. something like that. Yeah, Olympus, where the the people on the show are supposed to portray Greek gods and goddesses, goddesses, and each week Zeus, the producer, kicks someone off. Well, the fans vote, of course, yeah. but Zeus is the ultimate person that kicks them off each time. But, at the same time, there's a political issue going on in, inside the town. And then the zombie apocalypse breaks out. So, to me, the show itself was good, but it was missing some things back and forth as far as how did this all happen? When did the zombie apocalypse start? What caused it to start? And why are we uh, basically seeing everybody, for the most part, dying off so quickly? And it's like, come on, how many, how many things of zombies have we seen thus far? Mm -hmm. But I did like the fact of them splitting up the characters in about the first, well, I'll say four or five episodes. Mm -hmm. You mainly focused on one half of the cast of the show until they were killed off and then the second half you focused on the second half of the cast of the show but within the first two episodes they actually showed almost everybody that was going to be in the show mm -hmm. just about almost everybody all the main ones and you basically got two antagonists well I'm not going to say two antagonists two villains of the show mm -hmm. being the congressman and the producer both of whom did face the uh, tragic death. Even Basically, though I think the producer got the worst. Yeah. He had his hair ripped off his shoulders. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was their own fault for both of them. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. They caused it on themselves. Being greedy, wanting to be in control, wanting everything their way. I don't know. What do you think? So, okay. So, my criticism of it. Um, again, I love the fact that um, it was two separate seasons, essentially. You know, you had your first five, you know, your main characters in the first five, and then the rest, you know, other people in six to ten. Um, it, some of the acting was a bit cheesy to me. Um, you know, it, it, neither here or there. But other than that, it was solid. Um, I guess... I don't know. I'm zombied out. I honestly feel like I'm zombied out, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, I kind of agree. So it's just like, it wasn't that it was, you know, oh, spectacular. But it, I just feel like I'm zombied out. Um, there are some zombie stories that you like appreciate more. But I just feel like it could have been better. I mean, it wasn't the best for me personally. It was okay. It had some, some spots. But I'm just zombied out at this point. <laughs> I may look like I'm annoyed, but it's just that I, I I feel like when it comes to zombies, if you don't do something different, it becomes repetitive. Yeah. And I feel like it like these things are coming repetitive. Like for example, I uh, everybody um, who watches or plays video games, Last of Us Two is out. So for example, those aren't technically they're zombies, but they aren't zombies essentially. It's more like, like uh, infected. It's more like how uh, I am Legend in a sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you didn't want that on what you also have your different stages of infected. So mm-hmm. it, it's different. Like it's, yeah. it's it's zombies essentially, but it's different levels of it. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. And then you can become uh, an infected just by not getting bit if you like breathe in some of their spores or something. Like make it something more than just, oh, I'm bitten now, become a zombie. Like it it, it was I'm sorry, dog, I'm sorry. But um, all in all, it was it was solid. It was okay, I guess. Um, those were some fast ass zombies. Yes, they were very fast. They moved a lot faster <laughs> they weren't, than those in the walk. Yeah, yeah, a lot faster. They ran, literally. They, yeah, so there was times where they actually hauled out. Like, not straight up sprint, but they were out. Like, they, oh, over there. We out, we over there. They yeah. were a lot dumber as well, though, to me. I think zombies are dumb just in general. Oh, but you've had some shows where they were at least a little bit more sm- had some kind of brain functionality in some extent because they would climb. Or you know what's climbing, bro? I mean, uh, War War Black Z? Summer, World War Z. But see, World War Z was different to me, but in Black Summer, I both of those they Summer. they had that's another Netflix show with zombies. That to me was better than this. They at least had some kind of brain functionality. Unlike this, they're just uh, like, walking yeah. around. And then, oh, I hear a sound. Let me go after to where the sound. Or I smell something. And they just go. Yeah, I'm zombie dog. But I would say if they're going to do a part two, at least explain what happened to cause this. Why are we ha- suddenly having zombies? Because that made it no sense to me. I think they could have even went with a whole different kind of genre instead of zombies, and this would have been a great show. Because it had the feeling of something else was going to happen as a show, and then the zombies just started. And it was just like, wow, out of nowhere. Started like, the first the time first we've seen, minutes, if that. they were going back to the studio for the show on a back road, and then the zombies eating somebody on the side of the road. Person gets out the car yeah. to see what's going on, and he ended up getting bit. And it was just like, well, how did that person become a zombie? Yeah. Like that's that's where, that's, where did it was that like, come from? Like, did this person yeah. just like, you know, stub their toe and become a zombie? Like they was driving, stub their toe and became, because it was literally person on the side of the road eating somebody else, or a zombie on the side of the road eating someone else, and then somebody like, well, how did that person get there? Yeah. What, like, what caused the zombie to ha- come about to begin with? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry for being so critical. I, I mean, I, hey, this is what I, the reviews is all about. I just did. It has some parts. Like I said, it has some parts, and it has some people that you can definitely get behind the roof for. Um, Leo, which was the second main character, essentially in the mm-hmm. second half. Um, I got behind the first girl. Um, yeah, I was, was always hoping she was gonna live. Yeah. I was mad when she put herself in that room at the end. That kind of yeah. made me mad. So it's like, if she would have actually stayed there, she could have been part of the second. Second mm-hmm. group or whatever. I thought that's what they would have did. Let her be locked in that room, and then the second group comes along, clears it out, yeah. finds her. Exactly. Uh, that actually would have been a very, very good thing because they possibly would have had a better chance of surviving. Yeah, overthrowing the governor, who was an idiot at the end. I really couldn't stand what he did. Yeah. Like you really kill your right person hand man who, at this time. This the person cop. who actually helped you from the very beginning yeah. of the series. When you had the opportunity to overthrow. This dr- or I know the throat. Stop the stop the threat. Yeah, basically. And uh, like I said, y'all had the plan. He, you had the upper hand, and then you just kill him for what reason? Yeah. And it basically cost you your life at the end. When you think about it, that was one of the dumbest things that could happen. Mm-hmm. Simply because it's like, oh, I'm killing my muscle to make it seem like I'm under your control or your command mm-hmm. when. If I know once we do this, then your muscle, the people that you have with you, are going to be shot or killed or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was that was dumb. That was dumb. There was a lot of dumb decisions made in this show. I, to come think of it, I, 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 I'm not going to even say, I'm going to just say it was okay. I, there was some parts I liked that made me just like wanted to not throw up on the show. But the I, gore, though, was, was great. There was a lot of gore and a lot of blood on there. Yeah, but some of it so was... that part was good. But, I mean, it looked... Cheesy at times. Yeah. But like, it was well, good that we at least had that on there. The whole decapitation yeah. part was so cheesy, bro. Like, they, the zo- all right, first of all, you had zombies eating him. 
and then you just had a zombie just like come up and like not even like with force like normally when someone do, does something like that you have to have some type of force but i think because they were eating around here already it, it was, was already coming up off it was so. like for example if you have ribs and you put them in a the smoker low and slow for like 12 hours fall his brain and his spinal cord fell off the bone it was like that easy no hard external force or anything like that and to me that was cheesy i'm like come on now at least squish his skull open you know skull open a little bit then pull no i see I mean, better physics of human anatomy on more combat than that i personally just think kind of the writers were rushing the script a bit i don't know if they had a certain deadline but it felt like it wasn't a complete script. Yeah, so. But, I mean, you guys let us know what you thought. If you watched it or are going to watch it, come in the comments, let us know what you guys think about it. And let's have a dialogue about it. But, thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe. 